Steve Wozniak thinks that Apple should consider building an iPhone running Android. HTC is now rumored to enter the Nexus tablet and wearable market. And if you want a free Lunia 1020, there's actually a cool way to get that. I'm Jaime Rivera, and Steve Wozniak, be careful what you wish for, because it might just happen. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Microsoft has a very, very interesting deal. If you're interested in getting a Lumia 1020 or a 1520, I'm not talking about the cheap Lumias, I'm talking about the really good ones. Uh, Microsoft is actually allowing trade-ins, listen to this, for an iPhone 4, an iPhone 4S, or a Galaxy S2 in good conditions. And it's hard to tell why exactly those and not the newer ones, but still. If you have an old iPhone 4, there is obviously a catch that this is on AT&T. You would have to upgrade from these phones into other phones, but that is actually a very, very cool deal. And again, you get the phone completely free as long as what you're trading in is in good condition. So uh, move quick. Now let's talk about Android 4.4 KitKat, as according to analysts, this is probably one of the slowest deployments of Android, but this is obviously not Google's fault. But it turns out that HTC is now doing things right, at least for US customers, which is great. Verizon customers can already get the update for the HTC One, which is awesome. And if you want the list for the rest of the carriers, look to the description as that is not happening yet. But if you're also holding on to a Galaxy S4 and you have an LT Advanced Snapdragon 800 processor Galaxy S4, then you should be in luck as you should be getting it as well, but we have no news for the United States, as that was apparently going to happen in uh, March, somewhere around there. Now let's talk about Amazon, as the company's tactics into getting new customers is getting better and better each time. Initially, we had a barcode scanner for whenever you wanted to see something at a retail store and compare it to their prices, but now the company is including an image scanner on its iOS application, Android should get it soon, and the idea is that you not only scan anything that you see at a store, but you probably see something that your friend has, you take a photo of it, scan it, and it'll give you information on how to buy it on Amazon, which is awesome. Just remember that you can also use use that Amazon pricing at retail stores like Best Buy, for example, to get a better price. So this is good competition. Now let's talk about HTC as the company is rumored to be returning to the tablet market, but not just any market. Apparently the company is working on the future Nexus tablet, and we're still not sure if that would be the Nexus 10 or the Nexus 7, but it's being rumored for Q3 2014, so it'll most probably be the Nexus 7 or something new. But even more interesting is that the company's chairwoman, Chair Wang, just came on record and confirmed that the company is working on a smartwatch. And the reason why this smartwatch will be so late, which she's rumoring for the holiday they season of this year is because apparently this will be something out of the ordinary, something great, something awesome and worth waiting for. It's just too bad we don't have a teaser though. And finally, for the very odd but expected news of the day, Steve Wozniak is not only famous for being the father of the personal computer as a co-founder of Apple, but also for his very famous quotes. And this time he just said on an interview that Apple should consider building an Android smartphone, an Android iPhone actually, meaning that we would keep the same design from Apple, which is legendary and beautiful, and add Android as an operating system, which is a great ecosystem. And it's actually not something new. If you you didn't know it, you can run Windows on a Mac legally, meaning there is an application within a Mac called Boot Camp that you use to load Windows. And you can just dual boot Windows, which is awesome, but that leads me to the question of the day. Would you be interested in an iPhone running Android? Because in my particular case, I would. I would love to dual boot to Android. For me, it would be awesome. But leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.